Hip dysplasia is a common condition in dogs, including the American bully breed. It is a malformation of the hip joint, which can lead to pain, discomfort, and difficulty in mobility. As responsible dog owners, it is essential for us to be aware of this condition and take the necessary steps to prevent and manage it. Firstly, let's understand what hip dysplasia is and how it affects our American bullies. Hip dysplasia occurs when the hip joint does not develop properly, leading to a loose and unstable joint. This can cause the femur bone to rub against the hip socket, leading to inflammation and eventually arthritis. The condition can be both hereditary and developmental, and it is crucial to understand the genetic history of your American bully before breeding. One of the most effective ways to prevent hip dysplasia is through responsible breeding practices. American bully breeders should only breed dogs that have been certified free of hip dysplasia by the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals OFA, or PenHip. By breeding only dogs with healthy hips, we can significantly reduce the risk of passing on this condition to future generations. In addition to responsible breeding, there are several factors that can contribute to the development of hip dysplasia in American bullies. Proper nutrition plays a vital role in the overall health of our dogs. A well-balanced diet that is appropriate for the age and activity level of the dog can help to maintain a healthy weight and reduce stress on the hip joints. Exercise is another crucial aspect of preventing hip dysplasia. Regular, low-impact exercise helps to strengthen the muscles around the hip joints, providing support and stability. However, it is important to avoid high-impact activities such as jumping or rough play, as they can put unnecessary strain on the joints and increase the risk of hip dysplasia. Regular veterinary checkups are also essential in detecting and managing hip dysplasia in American bullies. Early diagnosis is key to implementing an effective treatment plan. Your vet may recommend x-rays to assess the state of the hip joints and determine the severity of the condition. Treatment options may include weight management, physical therapy, anti-inflammatory medications, or in severe cases, surgery. It is important to note that hip dysplasia cannot be completely prevented in all cases. Some dogs may be genetically predisposed to the condition, despite all precautionary measures. However, by following the above guidelines, we can significantly reduce the risk and severity of hip dysplasia in our American bullies. In conclusion, hip dysplasia is a common condition in American bullies that can cause pain and discomfort. As responsible dog owners, it is our duty to be aware of this condition and take the necessary steps to prevent and manage it. Responsible breeding, proper nutrition, regular exercise, and veterinary checkups are crucial in reducing the risk and severity of hip dysplasia. By prioritizing the health and well-being of our American bullies, we can ensure they live a happy and pain-free life.